This Australian fanboy is one of the first consumers in the world to get his hands on the new iPhone 3G. I'm Cara Suboy, CNET.com, and we're taking a spin around the world to gauge the buzz over this long-awaited Apple release, now available in 70 countries. As of midnight tonight, I'll have been here for 55 hours. I flew over from California about 24 hours ago, came over here, got in line because New Zealand's going to get the 3G iPhone about 24 hours sooner than the people in the United States. Here in the United States, Apple fanboys and girls began sticking out the New York Fifth Avenue store on the 4th of July. The San Francisco scene was decidedly more mellow with one lone fellow and his tent who plans on camping out for only one night. I started setting up my tent when I got here and waved hello to the security guard. Adding the app store is has got to be the biggest feature. While the lines, or lack thereof, are in stark contrast to last year's pandemonium over the first release, don't expect to hear crickets tomorrow. Like with any new Apple product, there's going to be a scene. I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com.